Greetings, greetings, people. It's Mr. Pull the Trigger yet again on another episode. First of all, I want to say happy, happy, happy new year to all of you. I hope you ended in style and I'm proud, I'm super proud that all the crossover events were canceled. God intervened. God came through for us. God heard our prayers and God put a stop to it because God knows that it's not easy to convince these gullibles. It's not easy to change their mind. And one thing about God is a just God. He'll never interfere with your decision, with your decision-making process. God has given us the free will to choose what we want and to choose the path that we want to take. And he'll never come through to make us choose that path. So he has come to a realization that these people have chosen the wrong path and I'm not going to stop them or convince them. There's no way he can do that. You see, the free, will God, the, free, the free will that God has given to us, sometimes we misuse that free will. That's why we even have atheists who use that free will to fight against God, who use that free will to decide against God and believe that God does not exist. And God will not do anything. He has given us the liberty to choose because he's a just God. He's a faithful God. You know, 2022 is going to be... <laughs> It's going to be a great, 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 great year. If there are years that we should be looking forward to, you know, having glory and having blessings and having excitement is 2022 because there is a new dimension of havoc that we are going to cause in the kingdom of darkness. Believe you me, there is no structure, there is no diabolical structure that has the power to withstand what is coming. Let them relax for now, but you must just be rest assured that 2022, captives will be set free. All these charlatans, all these jackals, all these false wara wara, they will not stand a chance. And Mr. Pull the Trigger is coming with full force. We will see who will resist the force that is coming towards them. One by one, all of them, they will run out of business. And you, me, together, committed, we can do this. Let's fight for the body of Christ. Let's de defend Christ's legacy and protect the body of Christ from these wolves, jackals, and charlatans. The only way we can do that is if we rebuke them, if we expose them, if we analyze them, scrutinize them, and put all their shenanigans on the open. All their shenanigans should be put on the open. So if you have anything that you think you can contribute to this Enlightenment series, Please feel free to reach out to me. Send me a message. Let's lie years. You have been in the hands of these jackals. They have manipulated you. They've taken you for granted. And nothing has changed in your life. And you're heartbroken. Don't keep it to yourself. Life is too short. Life is too short for you to go through life bleeding. When there's a way for you to relieve yourself or save other people. That's the whole purpose of this enlightenment series. So that we protect the body of Christ. And then we enlighten each and everyone who's within the body of Christ. And reveal these charlatans. Reveal their true nature. Reveal their evil nature until we actually have true servants of God that will come and stand for the truth and preach the true gospel of Christ, not these heresies that we have been getting from these men of profit. I actually received a message from my, from my guy, Ricky, who runs a daily, Christian, a, a daily Christian show telling me that I tuned in just to check what Makaniwa is talking about. I think midnight. Midnight, and he came back to me and told me that the guy was just talking about money. <laughs> the guy was collecting the seed for 2022. They call it the seed for 2022. What is a seed for 2022? You don't need to pay any money for any year. You don't owe any charlatan, any seed for your breakthrough. Makandiwa worships a god of mammon. That's why everything Makandiwa related, it revolves around money. That's why even if Makandiwa owes you money, he will never pay you that money. Do you know how many people have been have sued Emmanuel Makandiwa because of Makandiwa owing them money? If you do a project for Emmanuel Makandiwa, he would rather not pay you, but pay the courts so that he can defend himself from paying you. That's what the God of Mammon, that's how the God of Mammon operates. All he has to do is to protect the money that he robs from people and make sure that he just does not commit to any commitment that involves him 
paying anyone that is probably that is probably owing it happens with blessing mashangwa it happens with this guy called nyasha it happened with a lot of people many people have brought ideas to makandiwa many people have brought a b c d and makandiwa will rip them off many workers at his mines are not being paid as we speak they are starving they are crying they are they are living in poverty because they are not getting paid the companies that he hired to secure his premises they don't get paid that's what the god of mammon does it only requires him to take money from the gullibles but it does not require him to part with it so you have to understand that these charlatans they don't deserve your money you don't have to be giving them your money and we are going to be hitting hard on these chapters on these topics until the board of christ is enlightened but i'm so much delightful and i'm so much grateful for what god has done you know god has brought a revolution brought god has given us a sign for 2022 look at the bushiri guy he had the entire cross overnight that he had planned from 2021 to 2022 but god came through god came through god heard our prayers he threw in a heavy rain it is only the few gullibles that were left in the rain worshiping praise and worshiping <laughs> expecting <laughs> expecting a miracle Bushiri had invested huge sums of money for that crossover. It has never happened before in the history of crossovers that it rains the way it rained yesterday. This is God using his power of control over nature to show to give us a sign that he's not happy with these charlatans, to give us a sign that these people are not representing me. These people are short-sighted. These people they do not possess the gift of seeing something beforehand if bushiri was a true prophet he could have seen that it was going to rain and maybe he could have probably chosen a different arena that is indoors but because he lacks the prophetic insight of knowing what god is saying or what god is planning the rain came after all the money that it invested which has just gone down the drain which is a good thing for us the body of christ and it's a sign it's a sign We were praying. I prayed God give us a sign that these charlatans they don't represent you. That is a sign. That is a sign beyond repute. There is no way a true man of God, there is no way a man that he is from God can go ahead and invest millions in an event. And on the day of event God comes through and disrupt everything. I told you God is in it. This enlightenment series God is in it. You might fight it, you might try to go against it, you might try to defend it, but God is in it. And you shall see God's work. You shall see the strong arm of the wrath of God by his demonstration of power. This is God demonstrating his power that I don't know them. I have never known them. They don't represent me. They are whatever that they are doing they are trying to feed their mouths they are just trying to save their best interest because god has failed to convince gullibles to turn to christ he has not really failed but he has seen that it's impossible to turn the minds of gullibles that have been captured by these charlatans but rather he is now demonstrating using his power over nature to show the gullibles that i am god and i still stand i still have the authority to cause havoc in the kingdom of darkness imagine all the people that flew from different areas from different circles of life for the lilongo event for the crossover event and it poured it never rained Pod in the arena was left with a few gullibles still other gullibles remained in the arena singing holy mercy father of pushiri prophet of ah, nonsense this time around 2022 believe you me is going to be the best year ever the latin men series is an entire an entire bogem an entire different level of exposing charlatanism You have seen your other people exposing this A B C D but this time around God is in it and we mean serious business 
And I pray, I hope you keep praying for me also so that we keep having the strength to push, the, to push this through. Because at the end of the day, victory is guaranteed. Anyone who stands for the truth, anyone who stands for God, will never go disappointed. Impossible. I'm just glad all the crossovers were a flop. I'm just glad all the crossovers didn't go, you know, the way the charlatans had planned to raise funds. And today in the morning, Bushiri sent <laughs> he sent a message to his uh, to his leadership team because he realized that he ran a loss, so he's trying to capitalize again on the loss that he has already made. And requested that today there's a service and tomorrow there's a service. And this is the message that he sent across to all his, uh, to all his gullibles. Let me read it out to you. So this is the letter and it reads, Attention mighty men and women of God. Seasonal greetings for the year 2022. Important message from the prophet. Today, the 1st of January 2022 at 2 p.m. There will be a prophetic service. Sunday, Sunday, two, Sunday, the 2nd of January, 2022, there will be a grand opening. Therefore, you are encouraged to communicate to all your members not to miss the prophetic service and the grand opening service. Please inform your members not to miss the prophetic service and the grand opening service. As advised per the instruction of the prophet. And B, please not treat the above message with utmost importance. Venue is at Golden Peacock. Love you all. <laughs> Please treat the above message with utmost, with utmost what? <laughs> with utmost importance. What utmost importance? He's saying, do not depart from wherever you are. Do not return home. Make sure you come and attend this, these two services at Gordon Peacock. They want you, they, don't, they can't afford to let you go without you leaving your money. You need to leave that money. You can't. You can't go back with the money that you brought. So they came up with a contingency plan to make sure that they secured the bank. And at the Golden Peacock, trust me, 90% of the conversation will be about you giving them money. It will be about Bushiri telling you to seed, to leave some money. Wake up, church of God. This has nothing to do with Christ, man. This has nothing to do with God. These are fundraising gimmicks. These are fundraising gimmicks. These are businessmen stamping on the word of God so that they can rob you, so that they can take money from you. It's a hidden income, income. Yes, I understand. You have the right to decide what you do with it. But at least, can you put it somewhere where you can have a return on, on investment? Not to these charlatans, not to these gullibles, not to these uh, false prophets. Because every time you give them money, you're actually arming them to destroy more lives. So the blood that is on their hands is also on yours. Because without your money that you're giving them, they wouldn't be able to carry on destroying lives as they are doing and preaching the gospel of Antichrist that they are preaching. So till I meet you again on the next episode, let's just be great. Let's just be grateful to God for what he did for us and for the body of Christ by making sure that souls are saved. This is God saving his people using his supernatural ways. And we are grateful, God. Thank you so much for your, for your intervention. Watch the video, just this, not a short snippet of the video that was recorded by, <laughs> by one, of the, one of the attendees that were there at the crossover night of Bushiri. Believe you me, even all these other charlatans that were doing crossover on the internet, on Facebook Live and different digital platforms, they flopped. They flopped dismally. Dizimally. So watch the Bushiri, the Bushiri interference, how God, you know, interacted and disrupted the gatherings of the dark world. So till I meet you again on the next episode, it's Mr. Pull the Trigger. I'm out. Check it out. That's the video coming out now.